I understand we have a, a, a big reveal on that curling show. Yes. Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. Tell us about that spectacular painting behind you. We've been seeing it on social media. How did you paint it? So I painted it with a curling broom that I got from a few amazing curlers that I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the video. Uh, I didn't have any curling brooms and I knew somebody named Barbara Gala that had two brooms that she was incredibly kind to give to me uh, and that she said that she retired. And so I got to use them uh, for, the, for these Olympics to paint with. <laughs> How hard is it to paint with a curling broom? It's hard. It's actually, yes. it, it's not easy. I mean, this one was really difficult because of the faces. <laughs> so getting paint uh, very detailed was, was hard, but getting the big marks was actually pretty easy. Cause it was just like a sponge kind of like hitting it. <laughs> I just want to yeah. marvel at this a little bit longer. Yeah. I mean, look at the detail. How long did this take you, Samantha? That took me about a day to do. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. What well, you're not just painting with curling brushes, you're using all kinds of yeah, not paint brushes to do your no. <laughs> tell us about what else you're using. So I've used a skate, I've used ski goggles, a ski. Um, I've used trying to think of what else I've used. Hockey I mean, puck. A hockey puck, yes. I found Thank a hockey you. puck. It was so hard to find one. Thank you. Yes, a hockey puck. Um, ski goggles. And I go with ski boot, but that one was like super difficult because it's really heavy. So like to carry it around, I, I think I did one painting. So I was like, it works my muscles <laughs> way too much to lift. Bicep workout while you paint. Devin and exactly. I would love that. <laughs> Samantha, what uh, do, do you enjoy sports? I mean, what drew you to to do this um, in a really artistic way with the tie to athletics? So I've loved sports my whole life. I've played sports my whole life. Um, and I started this last so summer. So I was near the Summer Olympics. I actually injured my ankle and I couldn't really work out. I couldn't do much. And I like to find ways within like gray area of like, I can't work out. So why don't I kind of play around with a sports ball, which I had was a soccer ball. So I can technically be physically active with it. So I started doing uh, soccer uh, paintings with soccer balls. And then the Olympics were around the corner for Summer Olympics. And I had a few of the like basketball, soccer ball, I had like tennis balls. So I kind of painted the Summer Olympics, did not think it would like take off at all. And everybody loved it. And it was kind of a way for me to get through, I think, the pandemic and to just bring joy. Mm. Uh, and it's, and I continued it for the Winter Olympics. And it's just it's been beyond. I can't even I'm still processing <laughs> people's reaction. Oh, wow. That is. Oh, I think calls Mike is is still muted. Can you You're hear me now? Call. What inspires you to to make this art? I know you, you, you gave part of that answer right there, but especially when you're choosing the athletes to paint, mm. is it, do I have the tool to do this with that's appropriate to their sport? Or what? where do you, where does your head go with that? Yeah, so, um, I mean, I try to do uh, any athletes. I wanted to support any athletes going to the Olympics. That was my goal, to support them. For some sports like curling, it was incredibly difficult because like it's, you can't really find that at a regular sports store. And uh, especially for the Winter Olympics, I wanted to make sure the material that I'm using, it was material that couldn't be used by other people. So it had to be broken or used. And it kind of gave me this inspiration to kind of find stories within the material I'm using. Mm -hmm. So especially like with these curling brooms where I got them from Barbara Gala, where they have so much meaning. I've, and I've had so many stories with her about the history and and what and what she had the history with those brooms. And I kind of, kind of wanted to give, like respect them when I'm painting and also kind of re represent this kind of fourth dimension of people play with this. And then I'm kind of representing their relationship and they play so much with them that I wanted to represent it in that kind of way in a painting. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Samantha. Uh, I understand we have uh, a, a big reveal on that curling show. Yes. It's some new artwork that you're revealing for the first time. Let's yes. look at it. Oh my goodness. Let's look at this. Talk us through it. Let's take a look. So yeah. So for this one, this was actually uh, one of the first, this is my first, first painting. And uh, I didn't know who to paint. And 
Bar uh, this one was Jennifer Jones and Barbara Gowan's like favorite curler and I just had to do her and I found this picture online and I just I felt like it really embodied the feeling that I relates to curling and really wanted to embody that that feeling of pushing that curling ball and I think it was honestly I had a joy creating it mm. oh, that's and who are so we good. looking at here Brett Gala yes <laughs> Oh man, so nice. Where can people buy your art? Oh man, I I've I have a website. I think Samantha Woj uh, art .com, where people can email me. I'm still processing. People want to buy my art, so um, usually, yeah, <laughs> writing me directly is the best. And I do you use do you use a paintbrush at all ever? Uh yeah, I do like clean up little touch ups sometimes to like really make it nice and concise. Um, but yeah, the, the I use it to like clean it up most of the time and yeah. But. What does this say about abilities? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have like, a, so I have two fingers on each hand. So I always say, basically, I live off the quote of the only disability in life is a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. And I always said that there's no, nothing we can't do. We can always find a way to do something we love. And this is my way of kind of representing what what I do for love and and I'm kind of excited. Uh, I'm gonna be working with the foundation can fund to donate a few of my paintings so I can support athletes who are in the Olympics to, to for their future endeavors. Given back, that's awesome. Yeah. And what that just I don't know for you, Devin, but uh, oh, I'm getting sometimes emotional. Devin and I complain about you know whatever nothing. We're gonna keep that quote for our everyday life. Yeah. Samantha, what a, what a gift. What a gift you're sharing. And you're seeing all the comments at the bottom of the show here. Um, you're making such a difference in CanFund. I know very, very well. And I know what it means to the Olympians um, and what it fuels for their dreams. So what a gift you're sharing with everyone. And uh, I don't know about you, Carl, but I'm going to be sending Samantha a note about getting some getting some uh, some yeah. paintings done. Well, you got so much talent. I mean, what you're you're you. a great artist. It's Thank incredible. You. Thank Good you. Good for you. So and thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having so me. Happy. Love yeah, your Samantha. work. Thank you Try so much. Try to capture Devin and I in action. <laughs> yeah, the picture of both of you. <laughs> Love it. <laughs>